CRMS. We are so excited to get you here next year in our school, in the building every day. So we'd like to introduce you to a few places in our building since we didn't get to have you come visit us. And we'll show you around our building. Then we'll have a few words from some student council members. And hopefully that will get you excited to come here next year. So follow me on our tour. We are going up the main hallway in the school where the auditorium is on the right. We have many musical productions there along with concerts and other activities. On the other side of the hall, we've got our beautiful media center where classes take place. And you can always get some good books to read. A little further down the hallway, we've got this fantastic fish tank, which those of you at Eisenhower are very familiar with. And the best part of your day, the cafeteria, which doesn't look much like one now, but it will next year. And we have lots of good food choices here. The wing that we're looking at is primarily for seventh graders. So that's where you will spend the bulk of your time. There are three school counselors for each grade. Three school counselors, Ms. Durkak, Ms. Jameson, and Mrs. McSada, and they will be assigned to you for both seventh and eighth grade. Your daily schedule will consist of math, two periods of language arts, social studies, science, cycle, which are the classrooms we're passing right now, world language, and PE. We're gonna take a walk down this hallway right now and I'll give you a look at our gym if you haven't been here before. As we enter this hallway, we will be approaching the gymnasium where several classes take place at once and they are taking part in their, one of the favorite activities here called pickleball. We have many, many sports and activities here at the middle school and the student council speeches that are following me will tell you all about them. Also in August, we will send out an e-blast that will let you know when you can come and take a tour of the building yourself. That way you can come in, walk your schedule, practice opening a locker, and it's just a fun time to see your friends again. So we really look forward to seeing you next year and at the end of the summer. So have a great summer and we cannot wait for you to get here in person and maybe without this. So have a great day. Hello, my name is Siona Naidu and I'm an eighth grader here at BRMS. I'm here to tell you about how you can enhance your middle school experience to the max. Extracurricular activities play a huge part in this. Most of you guys are around 12 years old. 12 is pretty young to decide what you wanna do for the rest of your life. I mean, I'm only 14 and going to the high school next year with an open mind. So I invite you to do the same. Come to the middle school with an open mind and a positive attitude. Through after school activities, clubs and sports, you can make new friends, try new and challenging things, and maybe even find your very own passion. I want to impress upon everyone that there's something here for each and every one of you. Well, what exactly does the middle school offer? Through a variety of music, art, and athletic programs, I'm sure there is something you will grow to love. If you like to sing or play instruments, you may have been the part of your band, orchestra, or choir in your intermediate schools. The middle school also offers these. In addition, there are other programs like Jazz Ensemble, Wind Ensemble, Chamber Orchestra, and Dolce, which you must audition to get into. You're guaranteed to have a great time with other musicians. But what if you like music and you don't know how to play an instrument? If you're into acting or theater, perhaps you may be interested in the fall play or spring musical, or you could be part of the production uh, by helping with the stage crew or tech crew. There is a broad variety of sports teams and clubs if music doesn't float your boat. Travel teams include cross country, basketball, and cheerleading, and clubs include hockey, volleyball, flag football, badminton, and more. 
No matter what sport you play or want to try, there is definitely one here for you. Additionally, there's a whole host of unique clubs, such as Odyssey of the Mind, FBLA, Newspaper Club if you like to write. Student Council is a great opportunity for everyone, and you are destined to have a great time setting up events, spreading awareness, and representing your class in school. Personally, I have been a part of band, win ensemble, newspaper club, choir, the musical and play, and student council through my middle school years. I highly encourage all of you to partake in activities and explore new areas of interest. You may just find a new hobby, or you may just invent one. Yes, you heard that right. During the pandemic, there wasn't much I could do with my friends with, while following guidelines. Because of this, my love for biking only grew. I approached one of my teachers to see if he would consider serving as an advisor, and then the cycling and mountain biking club was born. I'm not trying to brag, but honestly, I'm pretty proud of this accomplishment. So don't hesitate. Use your natural drive and passion to effect a positive change for the whole school. Opportunities await you, but you must take the step to sign up. If you don't see what you like, create your own thing, just like I did. Middle school is a time for self-improvement and growth. Come to the middle school with an open mind and challenge yourself. You will find what you love. Hello, my name is Harry Fromberg, and I am honored to welcome you to the Bridgewater Raritan Middle School. I am sure this school year has been difficult for all of us. That's exactly why I'm here, to assure you that this upcoming year for you guys will be your best year yet. And of course, if you feel the same, you're already one step ahead. As some of you may know, the middle school is a big step up from Hillside or Eisenhower. It's a lot bigger and more complex. You may think what I'm describing to you is scary, but trust me, it was for me when I was sitting right where you are. You get used to it. Middle school is all about responsibility. You have to be ready for what is to come. You're not little kids anymore. You're about to become a teenager. Seventh grade allows you to create a new chapter in your life. And if you think you're not ready for it, you are. You now take control of your actions. This is what all of your teachers have prepared you for, the future. Time really does fly in middle school, even if it's virtual learning. It is your responsibility to take every moment you have here and to not waste it. In my two years at the middle school, I have partaken in student council. I took the responsibility of going to all the meetings I could. If I could not make it, there was no big deal. You need to make sure that you are communicating with every one of your teachers. It will make your life so much easier. As a result of you communicating, you are bringing upon a skill which proceeds to advance you for not only high school, but your entire life. It has been a pleasure to share my purpose and I wish all of you the best in the next chapter of your life. Thank you.